Hey, good morning, you guys. We are Make a Wood Sign. I'm Eric. And I'm Ryan. And our whole goal is to make videos to help you guys make better freehand routed signs. And that's what we're going to do today. So today what we're doing is we are showing off our new flag template. And this is one that's actually going to replace the old one we've had for a couple of years. This one looks nice, but it's a little bit small and it's really complicated to carve. This one shows up much better and it's about, it's a little bit bigger, about four inches tall. This is actually a smaller version of our big one. We have a big version of this as well. So they match really well and today we're going to carve that along with the stencil for One Nation Under God. We're going to put them together on a really cool piece of maple and uh, we're going to show you exactly how to do it. And the nice thing about these stencils is all you got to do is measure your board, center it on there, and spray it. So you, you'll, your layout will be done in a matter of 30 to 60 seconds, which is pretty nice. Pretty, pretty cool, especially for these stock signs. And this is a niche that you, that you can sell just about anywhere. So let's Let, get started. Let's do it. Alright guys, first thing we got to do is we got to get this thing laid out. Now the cool thing about the layout on this is we have a big stencil and we got a small template and that makes the layout super easy. So first thing I want to do is measure top and bottom so that I've got the same space at the top of the stencil as we do at the bottom with the layout template. Then I draw my lines top and bottom so I know exactly where I want them to set top to bottom. Then I'm going to measure left to right, make sure that they're centered in the board both top to bottom and left to right. Once I have them exactly where I want them, now we just spray it and we're good to go. So the first bit we used is the profile bit. Now this is a super hard wood. This is hard maple we're doing. So the deeper you go, the harder it's gonna to be to hold the line. So a good idea is to start shallow, go over all of it, and then come back and go about 3 16 deep. Also, make sure that your bits are sharp or new. The, more, the duller that your bit is, the harder it's gonna to be to keep that line. With script like this, or cursive, what you wanna do is you wanna do the full letters first and then connect them. Uh, with connect each letter because that gives a little bit straighter line and it allows you to follow the the outline a little bit better Let's get these stars carved. Now the thing about the carving liner is this is where it is a perfect application. If you take the carving liner and you go just as deep as you need to, 
it works perfect for these stars. So on the points, you want to just pick up your router base just slightly as you make all of these points. Remember, don't go too deep too fast. Start shallow and work your way down. Again, the carving liner is just for extreme fine detail. Now that we got the stars done, we need to do a really fine line around the edge of the field. This line is so tiny that we can't do it with a profile bit, so we must use the carving liner for that really tiny line around the edge of the field. So now we're moving on to the stripes. The stripes are pretty easy. They're long lines, but they're not super straight. So it's fairly easy to cut these. What you want to do is start shallow so that that profile bit will fit into those fine corners of the stripes. Then once you've got those details done, go back deeper, probably about 3 16 and take out the middle of the stripes. All right guys, so all of our carving is done. So we're gonna mask off the blue field with the stars here, and then we're gonna cover this and all the outside and the lettering is gonna be black. So to get the black and the lettering that we want, you want to make sure to use either primer or spray ink. Do not use gloss finish because you'll never be able to sand it out. Make sure that you get all the black in there that you want, but you want to spray light. If it starts puddling on you, you're going to have a bleeding problem. And notice that I sprayed from the top down and then from the bottom up. Getting the two different angles allows you to get black in all the areas that you want that you carved. So we want our stripes to be red, so we're using a matte finish red. So remember guys, you can't use gloss. It's got to be matte, otherwise it won't be able to sand off. It'll bleed really bad. All right, now we just got to wait for it to dry. So here I'm using my favorite disc sander. I'm using 60 grit as normal to get off all of the color on the surface. Then I'm going back with a 120 grit and my random orbital to give us a nice finished sand.
right, so here's a trick I learned way back when. Uh, for some colors, the actual Sharpies work really, really well. This is one that really works well for the blue field. Now, what I need to be careful of is not to try and get it down in those stars. I'm going to try and stay just on top, and I've got to stay within that little line that, uh, that I cut with the, um, with the carving liner. So hopefully it won't bleed down into those stars too much. at the sharpies that when you uh, when you hit them with the clear it even becomes more brilliant that blue it really shows up we'll show you that in a second here Okay, we love the way it came out. I love that flag. Uh, it's so much better than the old one. Uh, fairly simple to carve. You gotta really kinda pay attention, but I uh, love the colors. Uh, I love that Sharpie on the, the blue field and the red. Just love the way it came out. Don't forget, guys, you can get these stencils along with hundreds of others over on our website, layout letters, router bits, base plates, everything that we use pretty much is on our website. Yeah, and what I'll do is I'll put a link right here. You can click this and go to the website and I will link the in the description both of the stencils we used and the router bits we used as well. We had fun, hope you guys had fun watching what we're doing. Hope this was helpful, hope it's useful for you. Uh, don't forget, if you have any questions, email me, eric at makeawoodsign.com. Or me, ryan at makeawoodsign.com. And you guys, thank you so much for watching. As always, please like and subscribe. Leave a comment in the, section, in the comment section. Tell us what you think, how you like the maple, the new flag. Um, and we appreciate it, guys. We love you guys. We'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.